Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Sunday School. We are continuing our big story of God's forever kingdom that's found in the Bible. And in today's story, we will learn about the different books in the New Testament and about some of the people who wrote them. Let's start by looking at our poster. What do you see in this picture? Is there anything you wonder about? I wonder who wrote these scrolls. I wonder what's written in them. Let's find out more in our story. In our last lesson, we heard about the Holy Spirit coming upon the disciples of Jesus, and they received power to boldly tell others about Jesus. Each day, more people were accepting Jesus as their king and following him. But how would these people grow strong in their faith? Many of them had not met Jesus or heard him teach. Would they know what to do when the disciples were not there to teach them? God knew exactly what to do for his people. God selected some of the disciples to write letters to different people in different churches, telling them what Jesus had taught and instructing them how to live as God's people. God's Holy Spirit inspired and guided the words that the disciples wrote. The words were recorded on scrolls and were later collected to become the New Testament. God's mighty works and His ways were being made known to the growing church. The Gospels are books that tell us about Jesus' life and His teachings and about Jesus' death and resurrection. But there are also many other books and letters in the New Testament. Let's meet some of the people who wrote the books in the New Testament. This is John. John was one of the twelve disciples of Jesus, and he wrote the Gospel of John and several other books in the New Testament. This is Luke. Luke was a doctor. He was not one of the twelve disciples, but he listened to the people who were with Jesus and wrote down the things they had witnessed in the Gospel of Luke. Luke also wrote the book of Acts, which is an account of the beginnings of the church, how the apostles received the Holy Spirit and then traveled all over to preach the good news of Jesus to others. The other two gospel writers are Matthew, who was one of the twelve disciples, and Mark, who was a helper to the apostle Peter. Paul is another man that God chose to write letters to help the believers grow in their faith. At first, Paul did not know Jesus. He was not one of Jesus' disciples. Actually, he was very upset with people who followed Jesus, and he had them put into prison and even killed. But one day, long after Jesus had ascended into heaven, Paul was traveling to a city. As he traveled, Jesus appeared to him in a bright light. It was so bright he fell to the ground. Then Jesus spoke to him from heaven and told Paul to follow him. After this event, God allowed Paul to write letters to several churches. These letters were written to help God's people grow in their faith. He reminded the people to love and obey Jesus and to love one another. Many years later, the church leaders gathered up the New Testament scrolls and put them together with the scrolls from the Old Testament into one wonderful book, which is the complete Bible. The Bible is the Word of God and is very important to us even today because God still speaks to His people through His Word. Listen to what our memory verse says about the Bible. God has breathed life into all of Scripture. It is useful for teaching us what is true. It is useful for correcting our mistakes. It is useful for making our lives whole again. It is useful for training us to do what is right. 2 Timothy 3.16 Even though we did not meet Jesus while he was here on earth, we can hear Jesus speak to us when we read the Bible. What an amazing gift the Bible is to us. 
Let's read it every single day so we can grow strong in our faith. That's our story for today. Bye for now. See you next week.